Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, G, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my thumbnails. So without further ado, let's get into this. Do you like to break me down when I'm shattered on the ground? Are you happy? Are you happy? All I Okay, so for this video slash tutorial, I guess, we are going to be using Canva and Colors. Both are free to use. You can sign up for Colors or just use it for free by going on their website. And Canva, you have to sign up for, but it is free and a really great app for many different things, but I specifically use it for thumbnails. So like I said, it since you do have, so you can pay for it, Basically, paying for Canva gives you Canva Pro, which is basically just, it has a little bit more features, so you can use, like, some photos and stuff that are locked to normal guests, um, and yeah, so there are more features, and also, if you're, like, looking to upload designs that you make, like, different, like, they call them elements here, like our text, if you want to upload them to Canva, you have to be a premium member or pro member. So we're just going to go up to the top corner, again, where it says create design, and we're going to search YouTube thumbnail. There's so many different, like, designs and presets you can use, but we're just going to be using a thumbnail because it's, well, obviously that's what today's video is. So we're going to search a thumbnail, and... They have all these different thumbnails, like music thumbnail, travel, tutorial, um, beauty, I, don't, I can't see what that one says. Um, but yeah, a ton of different thumbnails, so we're just going to use the basic thumbnail for YouTube. And this is just going to give us like a blank, plain, little untitled design. So over here are all these like templates that are pre-done, or like, yeah, like pre-designed. And you can use any of them and like make them your own but i like to make them on my own just because i obviously like well i like to make more specific to my channel just because none of them really ever fit the videos i'm trying to go for so yeah but we're going to start off by making a making our background so you um can pick whatever color you want basically well obviously but we're just gonna go to colors now and go to like find a color palette so i always like to i don't know if i said this before i think i did i don't know but i always like to find like a color palette for my videos so this one's like one of my favorite ones this is the one that always comes on because i have it starred i think well i don't really know why it always comes on but i think it might be because i have a bookmark down to this one this is Oh my gosh, my microphone just fell. This is like the third time I made a drop. Okay. But yeah, so if you just hit the space button, it'll like you click through all of these. And you can just keep hitting it like forever, basically. And they have so many different colors. And if you just hit the plus button in the right, to the real right, it'll give you more colors and it'll give you more shades of like a specific color. So if you want more colors, you can always do that. But yeah, this is colors. It's spelled C-O-O-L-O-R-S. And I will link in the description along with Canva. So basically, come on here to find a color palette. And then if you hit explore, it'll give you all these different color palettes. These are like, you can like search or like, not search, but you can go up and it'll tell you like do you want to like like do you want trending ones like one like this you can search a blue it'll give you a ton of blue ones this is like so this one's like really pretty i really like the colors of this one it's like corals and peaches so we're gonna be using this one so you can save so this is basically when you scroll over each color it has these um like five or six i'm not really counting just like guessing but there's like five or six little icons so this one is says drag so it basically speaks for itself you can drag it and move it i guess toggle lock you can exit out copy the hex 
which is just copying the color basically where it says like F C D 5 C E you basically copy that and so we're going to be copying this peach one because I liked that for the background so we're back in Canva and we're going to go to the backgrounds and change the color to a custom color and then we just copy and paste the hex code right there where I just did and yeah so that is how you get the background on and they also have a ton of like picture backgrounds and stuff that you can use like but I just chose to do it this way so now we're in the text section and I just wrote test thumbnail but it's not really test so I'm actually going to change that to example to an example thumbnail and then we're you can like resize it here and so I'm just going to change the font and this is also the line height so this is like you could change how far the letters are apart like I did just right now and I can change the line height so if I use this little arrow on the side to make it like that then that's like the line height up and down And then to get it back to normal, you're just going to go back to the line height and change it back to zero, which is like basically where the purple ends or starts, whatever you want to say. And then normal, like when you're doing a YouTube video, you want to put it somewhere where it will be seen from people like scrolling through YouTube videos on their like recommended page or on like ex when they're exploring or looking through your channel you want them to like see the thumbnail and know what the video is about so you want to like use text and photos and stuff that will really like describe your video so i'm just gonna use like a like cute little font i normally use go to the handwriting section and use this one which is um I, I i use i use apricot a lot but i also really like the tc chattelwood i think that's how you say that so i'm just going to increase the font so like i said people that are viewing your videos can see the text and then i'm going to come back here to pick a color i like this one because it's dark so people Looking at the videos, we'll see it because that's obviously what's most important when making your thumbnails. So I'm just going to paste that color as I did for the background and resize it and center it to where I want it to be. And then over here are the elements. So these are just like little photos you want to add into your video. Not really photos, but like stickers, I guess you could say. So on the top is just my recently viewed ones and then featured or right below them. So I'm gonna just scroll through my recently used one and use these cute little dandelions because for this thumbnail it's an example thumbnail but I'm just gonna make it kind of like spring themed I guess. So we can go back to colors and copy more colors and just paste them here so that like it really fits the theme of the video. And I really like use the colors a lot to just make it look super cute. So then I can paste them here again. And you can change the color of almost all of the elements on Canva. Not all of them, but a lot of them you can change the color of, which is super nice and convenient. And another thing that I really like. And then I just rotated it and fit it back into the corner. And now I'm gonna use these little like hand-drawn stars they're super cute and then like I said with the little flowers that are in the left bottom corner I'm just gonna change the colors and then right here it says document colors those are the colors that you have in your document which basically it speaks for itself but we're just gonna use the um, right here since they're already there and don't do what I did and use the same color as you did for the background because obviously you won't be able to see it then unless you don't want to see it but Yes, yeah, so you can add in any of these and really make your thumbnail look super, super cute. This 
honestly going with the theme of the video that I said was spring. We're just going to add this really cute little spring photo in. So if you go to where it said photos, as you saw me just do, you can select any photos that you think look cute or whatever. You can also upload photos, but I didn't want to show you my photos I uploaded because first of all, I didn't really have any photos that pertain to this thumbnail that's like spring themed really and also i just don't really want to see you guys see what i uploaded because i don't really know what i uploaded and don't know if those photos will be exposing so i didn't really want to show you that but now we're just going to right click this and hit send it back and that'll put in the real back of everything almost like a background but not a background because i still wanted to see the pink border So I'm going to use this other photo because I realized you couldn't see the text very good, very well because of the background or the photo I chose to use. So now seeing with the photo, I just re did some resizing and changed the size of the text, moved the stuff around. normally something funny because it'll make people like see your video and like um like want to know like what do you mean you ran into a wall and like want to see what happened so that's why i do stuff like that sometimes and a lot of youtubers do it so it's not really something specific to me so i can't really say it was my idea but So just an overlook of all these little buttons on the side, we have the audio, you can upload your audio or use their audio, videos, same thing, you can upload your videos or use their videos. They have a ton of them if you wanted to put it like into your thumbnail I guess. And then these are templates, these are just like the pre-made ones that you can use and like change to your videos specifically. background as you saw your background colors these are like folders so your purchased and liked videos you can put here we don't put them there but they just go there automatically and then the you can create folders but that's obviously like because it well not obviously but that's only for pro canva members and then background and also, I forgot to show you guys this when I was like screen recording because I'm voiceovering right now. But at the real bottom, it says more, and then it's the three dots. Um, that just shows you like you can make QR codes, like a ton of different stuff. Um, it's really cool. And then here is just the text again. There's so many different like formats already. And then here's elements. You can search anything like Easter. And then the ones with the crowns next to them that say pro, those are the ones that you need to be a pro for. And then they have all of these ones like coronavirus, simple drawn objects, camping rust or rustic camping. And I like to search aesthetic. They have a lot of like really cute things if you search that. I use them a lot, but for some reason I decided it wasn't gonna load for me today. So I didn't get to show you guys that in the video, but I do normally use some of that stuff. So then this are, these are just photos again. It wasn't loading again, but I typed in chicken because you probably could find a photo of a chicken, but not right now because it's not working. So then at the top, you can download it and they have a ton of different like presets. So you can use, again, it wasn't loading, but you can use all of their ones. They have like PNG, GIF, mp4 videos if you are doing video jpg sometimes have jpeg png and then i think it yeah svg they have a crown buy that just means that you can't use it because you're not a premium or a pro member unless you are then you can obviously and then png it'll have like blue text and also like suggested or yeah suggested and that means like that's the one that they suggest you use I mean, obviously you don't have to use that one, 
really that's just the one that is probably most used or they like to use but you can use whatever one they all like say underneath like what they are so jpg is like a small file and then png is like high quality so you just hit download i was going to download it because there's no reason i need to download an example thumbnail but you can share it or you can like share it and type in a friend's username or whatever and then they could edit it with you just like you would do like a google docs or whatever so yeah that's basically canva for you super cool editing program and then this is once more colors super cool to just super cool how this one works just being able to hit the space bar and see so many different color palettes and it makes you really not have to like come up with color palettes yourself which is super cool they have so many pretty ones and you can create color palettes yourself too for other people to see which is super nice it's just just if you think some colors look really nice together so super cool both of these are really great programs and i will be sure to link them both down in the description if you want to see me do how I edit my YouTube videos using um, Adobe Premiere Pro, give this video a thumbs up and I will film that on Wednesday or Saturday of next week. And yeah, so happy Saturday and or whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys next week on Wednesday. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye!